You know what time it is? I do. It's time for my Bible story. It's time for your Bible story. That's right, Chesley. We've got a really good one lined up today. You know, I tell you what, this one is like a glass of experiences. Yes, it's some amazing experiences that this man named Philip had. If it's not going to sing, oh yes, you're going to sing because it's our time that we get to sing our theme song. My theme song is uh, that a gospel train and I'm the engineer. Yes, it's about a gospel train and you're the engineer. This gospel train is chugging up the train. Chugging at the track, it's chugging at the track. This gospel train is chugging at the track. Chugging to the glory land. Well, get on board this gospel train. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Get on board this gospel train. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. This gospel train is chugging at the track. Chugging at the track, it's chugging at the track. Gospel train is chugging at the track. Chugging to the glory land. Chesley, when we get to heaven, what is, who is going to be there? Well, he's going to be, oh, going to see Jesus, yes I am. Going to see Jesus, yes I am. This gospel train is a chugging of the train, chugging to the glory land. That's right, this gospel train is chugging to the glory land. No, oh, and this story today is from the book of Acts. Yes, it's from the book of Acts, it's chapter 8. Oh, Chesley, you know, people say sometimes when you live for Jesus, is you can't do anything, and you're not happy. No, oh, it isn't true. I get to talk about Jesus all the time. I'm a wooden kid, that I can still talk about Jesus. That's right, you're a wooden kid, and you can still talk about Jesus and his greatness. Chesley, in this story today, I mean, some really bad things that happened to the church people. You know, what's wrong? Uh, did, did they do something wrong? No, they didn't do anything wrong. They was talking about Jesus and his greatness and how, how wonderful he was and that he loved everybody. You know, that sounds like a good thing to me. It was a very good thing. But did you know that there was some people there that was in what they would call like their church there uh, they didn't believe that was true. <laughs> what did they not like it down then? It would seem quite crazy that they wouldn't like that. It's a good thing that Jesus loves and that he he healed and, and he did did he do those miracles? Yes, he did those miracles and people saw it, but there was many of them that still rejected. They didn't want to hear that message. It was a terrible thing. But now the, the disciples are here there to carry on the message. And so they started doing it and he's working out. Well, there was a man that was even a deacon and many miracles happened under his ministry and some people hated it so bad they said, let's kill him. Kill him? It makes no sense they're doing what? Because he was doing miracles and they didn't like it. They said, we don't think it's real. They thought the devil was doing it. No, the devil didn't do good things. He doesn't do good things, but still they didn't like it. And I think they thought it was because they weren't going to be the leaders. Well, maybe that's it. I don't know, Chesley, but I know this man named Stephen. Oh, God was blessing this man. He was doing great things and helping people. And so they got so angry with him, though, they wanted to kill him. Wanted to kill him? What? Were they going to kill him? Well, they said, he, well, we just don't want, we don't want this. Said he, he's, he's, he's shaking things up. He, it's, we want people looking at us and what we believe. It means a lot of things. They're just jealous. They were jealous. They were all kinds of things. They were mean. They were as cruel as they could be. I think he needs to go to court. Just the, I guess they had their own kind of court. And so they decided they would stone Stephen to death. And they did. <laughs> you know what happened to him? He went straight to the glory. In fact, it is at this setting now, after Stephen has died, after he has, he has died, and he, why didn't Jesus help him? He did help him. He got to go on and live in heaven forever and ever. And now he's still waiting. He's still waiting. He's there praising the Lord. And But these disciples, then they had a choice. You know what I did? I run and hide. You could run and hide, but they said, we want to spread the gospel. And, and so the devil got tricked. The devil got tricked. He thought he would make these people angry that were the church leaders, even very good leaders. No, they weren't good leaders. It was a time when they liked it when it was under what was called the old law. And, and it was time to move on to something better. There was something that God had said, we have something better. It's my son, Jesus, and he brings salvation. And they didn't like him. They, they didn't want it that way. They wanted to do it their own way. But now these disciples had a choice. The disciples of Jesus, he had chosen 12 disciples. They have a choice now. Are they going to spread the gospel now? You know, they think you got to go hide somewhere. No, they said, we got to spread the gospel. So instead, now the devil, he thinks he's going to make them get quiet. Everybody's going to run and hide. 
They just went from city to city. <laughs> Where did Philip go? Philip headed out and he said, I'm going right, going to Samaria. You know, I thought people didn't like them. There was many people that didn't. In fact, they just were unkind to them because they just didn't think they were as good as them, the Jews. Oh, but Philip, yeah, he had the love of God. He had the love of God. He was like Jesus. And he began to preach. And oh, there began to be great miracles. And then the people was happy and they changed their mind. Those people right there, they said, oh, this is what we believe. We believe that Jesus is the Christ. And so they accepted him. They accepted him. They began to have miracles happen. Why, there was people that were that, that couldn't walk, and they were healed. There was all kinds of sicknesses. They were healed because the, 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 the Philip had God with him, and Jesus was healing. That's right. He had what we call an anointing. He had that. He was had the power of God with him. It was so terrific. The people said, "We believe in him." You know, Chesley, right there. Did you mean Philip said yes? Philip said yes. When it came time to go and do something, he could sit. Or and he could be scared, he could hide, but instead he said, I'm going to work for the Lord. And he said, yes to the Lord. He said, yes to Jesus. And it wasn't going to be an easy time, maybe, but he found these people to preach to. His friends might turn against him, but that didn't matter. He was saying yes to Jesus. Yes, that was a thing to do. There was a man there where they were in Samaria. There where he was preaching, and he, he did just evil things. Well, he did. He would tr do all kinds of what we would call uh, things that were deceptive. They were they, they weren't really honest and, and he was deceitful. He was deceitful. That's a good word. He would make people think something and they just thought he was a great, they thought he is the great one. He can do all kinds of things. And, and did he like to hear that? Yes, he liked to hear that. He got all this praise and honor. And did they think they may have paid him? I mean, they thought that he was just the big it. And he saw these miracles, and then he learned to do that. Well, he began to believe that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God. And he also believed. Isn't that good? No, oh, I think that's just great. And it's because it filled the clean? Yes, it was because Philip preached the truth. But as they continued, and the Lord continued blessing them, well, then word got back to the other, to the other disciples, to others that were Christians, and, and, and then they come and joined him. That's exactly what happened. Well, then here come a couple more. Uh, Peter and John, they came down, and they said, we got to help out. we got to see what's happening. Oh, they wanted in on the excitement and see what God was doing. Yes, it was a good revival, and let's go down. Let's see what we can do. And so they went down and began to preach about the, the Holy Spirit that come and help people even further. Oh, it was so good, and those people got excited, and they, 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 they agreed to it. Yes, they agreed. That's what we want. More of Jesus and more of the power he has that we can live faithful and be true and help others. And, 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 and you can see more miracles. Yes, there was miracles always needed of the healing and other such things. But especially there was healings that were needed in that time. And so what happened, this, this man, Simon, uh, he, he was a guy that was a deceiver. He was a guy, he'd been a, re, he'd been a deceiver and he'd been, you know, he'd, uh, he'd tricked people into thinking he did great and mighty things. And he accepted Jesus, but now he began to see all these miracles. And he began to watch that, and he began to did he start thinking wrong. He started thinking wrong. He decided, I could pay them for this gift, and that I could do this. And I think he sounded like to me, he's, he's, I think he's messing up. Oh, he was more than messing up. He, he, he was beginning to uh, want to, you know, he wanted to have the attention on himself. You mean, I don't think he's going to live to Jesus. I don't think he, he's already starting to change. What about Philip? He just stayed true. It's Jesus. Give me Jesus. Let me preach Jesus. Well, this man, Simon, uh, he was the one that was wanting to be a bit trick people and all. And he wanted this. And so he approached Peter and he said, you know, I would like to have that same kind of power and have authority to do. No, that's what he's going to do to those men. That, oh, that's it. He wanted people looking at him and to see what he could do. And do you want to make some money? Did he want to make money? I don't know, Chesley. Uh, it's possible that he did. We can't say uh, all that he wanted. But I know this. When Peter recognized this man has got the wrong idea. And he, he's not wanting to, to, to give God the glory. That's it. He wasn't one to give God the glory. Oh, my. And Philip, I'm sure that all of the, the, his friends, are, they were concerned with what they saw. You know what Peter did? He, he, he told him, then you get down this altar. 
I don't know. He may have told him to get down to the altar. Well, one thing for sure I know he told him, this is wrong, very wrong. You can't do this. He said, this is absolutely, this, he said, why, you're, this is like your old life. <laughs> He's going to live like the past, like he, when he was all for himself and, and te deceiving people. That's right, he said. You can't buy this. No, he said, you can't buy this. This that, that Jesus does, that he's offered to us, that all of these things that he lets us do, the power he's given to us to help people and to minister to people. Oh, no, he said, this is not, we don't want power and glory. You shouldn't be going to be like this. He, oh, he, he said he's on, he's on a round track. Right. I think his train's going to crash. Yeah, his train was about to crash and fall off the track. You know, he was saying the wrong things. Oh, Chesley. And Peter said, you better stop right now. It's a dangerous thing. And, and what did he say? Oh, help me. And, and he realized, oh, oh uh, he realized that Peter wasn't accepting that. I, I might ought to, hmm. I shouldn't have said this. Did, did, did he change? I don't know that he changed. The scripture doesn't really tell us that, that I ever found. But he was wondering, seeing those miracles. He'd watch really good because he thought, if I could just do that. You know what I think's happening? What's happening? I think he's, he's going back to his old life. It sounds to me like he's kind of liking that old life again. But oh, not Philip. They just kept speaking the truth. And you know the time was come that they had to leave there because there's, you know, trouble comes. But those people there in that city, they kept serving the Lord. Well, it come time for, here goes Philip. He heads off because the Lord has got another place for him to go. And, and, and this time, where's he going? Where do you, God sent him out into a desert. A desert? And he just had a great revival? I don't think that's fair. What do you mean it's not fair? Guess what? When God moves you and changes, sends you somewhere else, he's got someone he wants to reach out to. You know, you're just not taking a trip. You're just not taking a trip. You're just not out doing nothing. He had a plan. There was a man there in a chariot, and he was, was he the fancy one with big horses? I don't know all about it, but I do know he was a man that was, had authority where he lived, but he was reading the scriptures, and here he was, and there he's reading, he's trying to understand it, and here now, here was Philip exactly where that man was going to be, the Lord had him there, I think he was in the will of God, he was in the will of God, yes he was, he was a man that said yes, it, you know, he, he didn't say, I don't want to leave this revival here in Samaria. No, he didn't fuss and say, no, Lord, I'm right here. It's a great revival. I don't want to go anywhere else. No, when the Lord said go, he said yes to Jesus. He said yes, that's right. And we should say yes to Jesus. Say yes. We don't want to be like Simon, the man that was deceiving and wanting to trick people. He said yes, and, and, and he changed his name. And then changed his mind. But here is Philip now. He says, sir, may I help you? What are you reading there? And he, oh, he was saying, well, I'm reading these, these scriptures and I don't understand them. Uh, and said, you don't understand them? He got up in the chariot with him and he began to read to him and he began to explain to him and told him about Jesus. Told him about Jesus, the way, the truth, the life. Oh, it's a wonderful thing. Did he believe? You better believe he believed. He accepted. Yes, he said, that's what I want. And he said, there's some water here. I can be baptized. And he goes, I want you to know that I just like I'm going to life and all the nasty sin and I'm living for Jesus. That's right. He said, let's just be like, now we're not going to drown. But it's going to be like we're going under the water just like this old life is gone of sin. And I'm coming up out of this water. And let you know I'm living for Jesus. I've made my choice. And he did it so anybody that was around could see. And what was around could see. Uh, just some uh, maybe some uh, what it is it crawling around in the desert? Well, there might have been something crawling around the desert, like a lizard. Well, there might have been a lizard. Did he care, oh, Chesley? I don't know if there was any lizards crawling around, but you no, know, they didn't care. But I tell you what, this man cared, and he was so glad that Philip had come. And it's because Philip obeyed. Philip obeyed. Yes, it was great. Oh, Chesley, victory, victory came to him. And did you know, as soon as he finished, all of a sudden, the, the Spirit of the Lord, the Lord snatched Philip away. Snatched him away? Was he in a, a whirlwind? Well, the Bible doesn't say a whirlwind. It said the Spirit snatched him away. And the next thing he knew, 
he was in a city called Azotus. And where, where is Azotus? We don't, I don't know, Jesse. I just know it's over there in the Bible lands. But as he realized this was an opportunity to talk about Jesus everywhere he went, Chesley, it was an opportunity to talk about Jesus. And you know what the Bible said? He, he, he kept doing it. He kept doing it. Where from city to city, Jesus would lead. He would preach the truth to them. He would preach Jesus and then keep going, keep going to the next place, to the next city. Oh, Chesley, what a great time. And to know you've pleased the Lord. There's nothing like it. He said yes to Jesus. You know, I think that's a good example. It's a good example because we all have a choice to make every day. Is it going to be yes to Jesus or is it going to be I want to do my own thing? I'm going to do my own way. You can try to pay for it. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. You, you can't buy salvation. You can't pay for it. You, you can't do that. But it's a great life to live for Jesus. And Philip just kept living for Jesus. And, and, and is he still living? No, Philip is not still living. One day he went on to live with Jesus in heaven. You get to see him someday. I'll get to see him someday. And something that you're going to get to see right now is your trunk. Oh, no, i got to get in that trunk. Yes, you get in, got it in your nice, big Soft side trunk, Chesley. He's in the house. Yes, it's your house. I guess we shouldn't call it a trunk. No, because that sounds kind of scary. Well, it's really not scary. It's your house. You've lived there a long time. Tell everybody goodbye. And I'll come back next week. Yes, we're coming back next week, the Lord willing. And it's going to be on a new month, the month of March. And so I'm going to blow in. <laughs> You're, no, you won't blow in. I'll carry you in. But right now you say goodbye to everybody and say yes to Jesus. Yes, Lord, yes, to your will and to your way. Yes, Lord, yes, I will trust you and obey. That's right. Trust and obey. It's the best way. It's the only way to happiness and joy. Goodbye, Chesley. We'll see you next week. Good night, folks. I gotta go. I gotta go to the end. Ooh, good night. Chesley, that's enough. No more flirting.